doesn't matter if it's headbox. Geese's slipper is both punches. So you cannot hold one and then do the motion and press two. Same thing for Akuma and Eliza. Anyway, um, so where I last left off, there's a couple of things I wanted to mention. Uh, I discovered this. I'm sure a lot of people know this already. But if you go right into down forward three plus four, if they don't tech or hold back, obviously. It's a reset. Right? And then I, I wasn't sure about how to convert that. And I was trying all sorts of dumb shit. It's really just her back turn two. I forgot all about that. You can also do back turn one two but that's a lot less damage you're gonna get more damage by doing the back turn two now i don't know what the ideal juggle would be in that situation but up front you get two strong hits and you go into whatever the hell else she does and then four four three cancel into a jab or something like dragon off style um Another thing I want to make clear right now, right? There was a guy that was, uh, I forget his name at the moment, but he was comment, uh, commenting on my YouTube videos for Lily. And telling me about down forward 3 plus 4 being safer in Tekken 6 as you could hold back to block. And I'm like, I was trying to tell him, I'm like, it's actually better on block in this game than it ever was. And the thing is that they made turning around slower since Tekken 6. They made turning around faster in Tekken 6 than it was in, uh, in VR in 5.0. And then I think they made it uh, slower after that, right? So what happens is, if Lily does down four, three plus four, right? And you just try to hold back to block, even though it's like negative two on block, she eats jabs. Universally, outside of maybe Raven, characters that are able to move toward you back turn by pressing forward, that they're, they're, they're the exception, which I think is only Master Raven, I'm not sure. But everybody else, you have to hold forward to turn around as fast as possible, like this. And even though you're holding forward, you're gonna block. See, I just wanted to make this clear. That is the fastest way to turn around into stand block in this game. It was that. Uh, it was that way also in Tekken Tag 2. I think it was always that way before then also, but I, I didn't really research this stuff back then. What's up, darling? Did I see the Geese video? Yes, I did. You know what else I saw? That, uh, at the time, at least, when uh, Markman shared that video, that, uh, King J's reaction video had, like, quadrupled the fucking views of the guy's own video. And I'm not saying that to judge King J. I just think it's really lame. Like, fucking, if you're gonna watch somebody's dumbass reaction video, just watch the original video, too, if you think it's cool, you know? But whatever. That's... That's just my take on that. But anyway... Yeah, that combo video is crazy. You should definitely, you guys should definitely check that out. Geese uh, combo video by TMD02. That guy always made those. I don't, I forget if it's a guy or if it's a group of people. They always make really good videos, combo videos. Yeah, see, Don Lee just mentioned what I'm talking about. That fucking reaction video has more views than the guy's combo video. It's, it's fucking stupid. Whatever. Whatever, man. I'm starting to sound like Arturo over here when he starts, like, getting on his soapbox whining about people stealing content and shit. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, now that I made that clear, hold forward when your back turns to stand block as fast as possible. If you want to stand block. Of course, when your back turn like uh, this, holding down back creates space a lot faster. But you could get clipped by long range mids. Which is generally why uh, characters that have counters, reversals that force you back turn, for example, Lee's punch parry, Shaheen to. Is it a punch parry for Shaheen? I think it's also a punch parry for Shaheen. Moves like that. Uh, they're like plus nine or whatever, plus eight or some shit. They force a 50 50. There's nothing guaranteed. Lucky Chloe's also. She might have like a guaranteed 13 frame, actually. But Lucky Chloe has to throw when she goes uh, between your legs and ends up behind you. It's a 50-50, basically. Um, but yeah, like, down 4 plus 4 is a safe move. Just making that clear. Alright, so now I got that out of the way. We went over the reset. Uh, I talked about the slide kick, the Oki last time, right? Anything else I want to fix from last time? Uh, yeah, there's no really... Uh, early 2019 for Dead or Alive, that's all I said. Uh, well, about that, Milo, they actually already confirmed that they're not going to rely, they're going to try not to rely on that to sell the game. 
<laughs> the IGN IGN were the ones that broke the news, and they said they they were like, oh, they're not gonna have the uh, jiggle physics, so you fuck boys are gonna have to hit up Galboro if you want that shit. Hit up your favorite uh, hentai site. Because we want DOA to be a serious fighting game. We'll see about that. Anyway. So yeah, now we're going to talk about back turn, right? And uh, obviously she has a lot of moves that go into back turn. A couple I remember off the top of my head is uh, course and forward 1-2. If you input the 2 and then hold back, she'll cancel into back turn. That's one way. Um, wasn't there another string? There it is. Back 2-1. Another one. She holds back, you'll be back turn, right? And there's more than that. I can't remember them all at the moment. But those are just two I remember off the top of my head. To go into back turn without an attack, you can press back plus B plus 4, and you will go into back turn in a neutral situation. So if you want to start doing weird shit from back here to fuck with your opponent, it's not quite a thing. Can't pull back step, but you can press back plus B plus 4 and hold down back. So I create a ton of space. I don't think it's for marketing. I think they're doing that to make it esports. That's why. So if they do end up on like some of those things, they can't be criticized for like, oh, you gotta turn up sexuality or whatever. That's my guess. Because that's not a selling point. The people who buy those games, they're not gonna get the evil SJWs that a bunch of you guys hate so much. They're not gonna get those people by just saying, hey, it's not about jiggle physics anymore. They don't give a shit about that. They're gonna, you know, if anything, they're fucking up their market, right? So my only guess is the only smart guess is is that they're they're trying to shoot for esports, so they don't have a situation where like we can't show this game because of blah blah blah, right? Advertisers and shit. That's just my guess, because that's what fighting games have to do now. They can't just sell on their own merit unless it's a Mortal Kombat, or depending on how you feel about Smash being a fighting game, Smash also, right? Anyway, so back turn. All right, so starting from the top with back turn, I gotta lower this volume a little. Please let me know if the music overpowers me. So we're gonna start with back turn jabs. One, two. Now, I said this already, I'm gonna say it again. Back turn jabs, I, I'm pretty sure this is universally the case. If not, this is the case most of the time. Back turn standing jabs are eight frames, not 10. Eight frames, eight frames, eight frames. That means since her down four, three plus four is uh, um, at worst negative four, it will exchange to a 12 frame move. But in general, you're gonna be using that move from like back here. So the moment you get this to be negative two on block, you're gonna exchange with jabs. All right? Which is actually kind of difficult to do right now. I'm getting negative four constantly. That's negative three, so it's not gonna happen too often. Still though, unless your opponent has an 11 frame counter hit move, uh, doing this with the stand jabs is not the worst thing in the world. Depending on the matchup. You won't eat any uh, too many crazy counter hits and also one thing I want to check is if you do get counter hit does it hit you back turn or not I'm not sure about that either let's see right so that's how we're gonna do it right so if she gets counter hit it hit that she turns around so you don't have to worry about strings hitting you in the back so her standing uh, back turn jabs totally decent option to use after this especially if you space it out well you know See? Exchanges with 12 frames. At worst for that move being blocked. Um, okay, cross jab is still 10 frames, according to Tekken Bot. Anyway, uh, so back turn. Single jab is negative eight on block. Because of course they don't want like that to be strong because it's eight frames. Plus three on hit. One two is a negative three on block plus five on hit. I don't think there's any counter hit properties here. Yeah, same thing on counter hit. Next we got back turn two. Now this is a corkscrew move, which I showed earlier already. Oh yeah, down forward two, if you hold back, you also go into back turn. Same thing with while standing too. You can hold back to go back turn. So for example, uh, yeah, see you could, uh, I held back for the second down forward two and then I did a back turn two. 
that's a corkscrew, just an example, right? Uh, it's uh, the startup on this is 14 frames, so that's a pretty fast mid. It's only negative five on block. There are three active frames, so you can make a negative three, but uh, I wouldn't count on that. Knock down a normal hit, counter hit juggle starter, instant corkscrew. So you have to count account for that for your juggle, no second corkscrew. Uh, so it's nice to have a really fast mid like that for all her back turn mixups, because Lord knows she has a lot of them. Uh, testing tracking on this is uh, weird. I don't have I don't know if I have a good situation to do it other than trying to time it. I think this tracks to her left side. Sorry, her right side. Man, this tracks really well. Oh, uh, there it is. The timing. The timing's a bit strict, but okay. It tracks to the side where it looks like it should track. It tracks to her right. And loses to her left side, which we which we kind of know already, because I tested the side step against the uh, blocked down forward 3 plus 4. Still, very good move. Next, we have back turn of the three. It's just a knockdown high kick. So it looks kind of like a gene uh, generic standing three for some characters, like Marduk. Rest in peace. It seems to knock ca the character slightly off axis to her left, sort of. Or at least makes the camera angle weird. Uh, this would wall splat. It is 10 frames. And it is safe on block. So this is decent too, especially near the wall. A 10 frame high wall splat from back turn for 25 damage. So something to think about. It, uh, 25 damage is a lot because then you you know you also might get some weird ass juggles off of this, right? I don't know if she recovers in time. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she does. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> if she could reach with the forward forward three, that's a lot of damage, I think, for a down forward two. But it seems like it's there too far. on big characters or long-legged characters like Miguel and Shaheen yeah doesn't seem possible oops nah. this is almost such a pain in the ass to do that doesn't seem possible. If it is, it's very difficult. Uh, Alright, well still, that's a useful move in general. As far as the tracking on her back turn three... Once again, let's try this. Okay. The window to sidestep this is bigger than the back turn two. Tell you that much. It seems like you want to go right. Nope, maybe not. Just a pretty tight window. Alright, so next we got back turn four. Mid mid. Not a natural combo. Knocks down on counter hit. Very slow, but she low profiles like crazy with this. I know that. Um, negative 11 on block. I don't know. She, she recovers back turn, so... I guess her follow-up would be the natural follow-up rather than something unique, right?
It would just be that. Uh, the real purpose of this move, though, is uh, I don't really think it's uh, to use in the neutral. This is her nastiest wall combo. Uh, you want a floor break with something that leaves you back turn, such as this, right? And that'll floor break, and then you can go right into this. And then the, the delay, the natural delay in the string will allow it to connect as a low wall hit. And she just gets a shitload of damage off of this. So I know that. Uh, it's negative 11 if she stops at the first two kicks. If she does the whole thing, it's negative 10. Uh, I'm assuming she's going to be stuck in back to Sure is. That's a good reason to not use this in a neutral. The reward isn't worth it. Yeah, this is super linear. So let me guess you can interrupt it. Yeah. Gap is huge. So she exchanges with 12 frames. So 10 and 11 frames interrupt it. And then if you block it, negative 10, right? Yeah, negative 10. Back turn. Forced to eat shit. Hopefully, I don't think they're gonna announce anything for Tekken at E3. Or if they are, I don't think it's gonna be big. I, I think it'll be like, let me take that back. If they announce anything for second to E3, I'm kind of hoping they do another, for the first time ever, they do another FR style update. I think this is the time for it. Usually they would do one update for, uh, for arcade and then that would come to console later, right? Uh, I forgot what, uh, Tech Attack 2 Unlimited, right? That was the arcade and that became the console version basically. Tekken 6 and the Tekken 6 Bloodline Rebellion. Uh, we got Tekken 5.0 on console, but then DR, which is basically something they forced themselves to do because the arcade people were fucking pissed that 5.0 got such a quick release on console. So they're like, all right, we'll give you this updated version. That's the story as I've heard it. And then uh, that became a way better version anyway because 5.0 was fucking Garbaggio, right? It was fun to fuck around with because it's such a fucked up game, but not a good game as far as balance goes so yeah the back turn four and three plus four save that for the wall combo don't do it in the neutral is super linear and super bad on block negative 11 for the four uh negative 10 for the three plus four ender she's stuck in back turn so you could do for example the key shit i showed you guys earlier one two three on the back to start juggles you could totally punish this with that depends on the character some characters can't really do shit like lily maybe she might just get, oh, she'll just get this. That'll all combo in the back. But that kick in the end is only 20 damage, so it's like, what do you fucking do, right? 39 damage, right? Ooh, 39 damage, big whoop. <clears throat> 10 damage. Alright, so, next we got... Back turn one plus two. Ah, this is the juggle start, right? No, this needs a counter hit. Wait, this had a follow up or something? I. It was a cross jab pickup for this, right? So you have to pick up with a crowd shot with this. So back turn one plus two is negative 10, but she recovers facing you. Uh, force is crouch, actually. So most people can't punish it with anything other than a crouch jab, except for like Lee. Um, and of course the meter characters. Uh, starts juggles on normal hit and counter hit, right? But I don't know if she gets better juggles on counter hit. Nope, same juggles. 
So you got to pick up with a down back one into wall standing two, and then whatever you want to do afterwards, right? Wow, that doesn't work. Oh, then you do down two, two there. Damn. Okay, down one, two, four. Six three damage for a, uh, not safe on bopper for a negative ten launcher. I always thought it was negative nine. Yeah, negative ten. It's just if you're one frame slow. But it's while stand, uh, it's while standing, so bah, see. So I don't blame you for thinking it was safe, because what are you gonna do? gonna cross jabber Brian could probably while standing one plus two this but the spacing makes that 11 frames sometimes so if you want to guarantee punishment just take your cross jab or force a mix-up anyway um, next we got back turn three plus four I mentioned this in one of the earlier parts this is one of those moves that could jump over a lot of shit. Not necessarily jabs, because her head is sticking uh, uh, downward, right? Not that. That. Unlike with this, uh, with, unlike that, her head is sticking out, right? With this. Ugh. So, because her head is sticking out like that, jabs can float her. But certain mids that don't have a very high hitbox, she'll jump right over that shit. And then she has a built-in follow-up that's a natural combo, right? Back turn, this is back turn 3 plus 4 into 2. Now, back turn 3 plus 4 by itself is negative 4. So it's the same situation as a down forward um, 3 plus 4 on block up close. Uh, this does have 4 active frames, so it could be negative 1. On hit, plus 5 force crouch to plus 8 force crouch in, in the later active frames. Same thing on counter hit. And then the second hit... It's a counter hit juggle starter. Because of course it is. And a normal hit, it just knocks back. So it's basically a lot like this move. It's just like a lot like back turn two. Except in the case of after doing it, uh, doing it after three plus four, back turn three plus four, it's negative 11. Now, is it negative 11 where she recovers back turn? Let's see. She recovers facing you, it looks like. Yeah, so. It's a pretty good move. I can see why Lily players like to do this. Uh, Lily players like to do this a lot. And they're like, oh, now I followed it up. It's, it seems really stupid to me. Right? I have a guess to make here. Ah, I have a hunch, if you will. Let's see if I'm right. Okay. All right, now, go figure. You have to guess. I have a second hunch. Oh, All right. So you could totally react. To the second one 
So if you got some scrubby ass Lily that's trying to abuse that shit on you, I've definitely run into it before myself. Thinking like, oh, I'm gonna be cute and do this over and over again and try to mix you up after. If she does another one of these fucking dumbass flips, you could definitely react and jab her out of the air. Also, it's not the worst thing in the world because if you react too slow to the backflip, you don't get juggled, you know? It's just gonna be, at worst, it's just gonna be that string hitting you for a lot of damage, but it's not a juggle. It's like Giga is down 3 2. That move really messed me up. Yeah, it's uh, negative 10. It's still good. Because, like, what's a cross jab? 5 damage. What do you fucking do? Still a really good move. Considering that it also gives him a knockdown on counter hit by itself. And it makes down 3, which is only negative 1 on hit, better. For Gigas, I mean. So, anyway, yeah. It's still a good move, despite all that shit that I just talked about. There's no way to use that in jungles, right? <laughs> Next, we got back turn, down three. Now, this move is like super duper low profile, right? But outside of that, it's, neg it's negative one on hit, so it's not terrible on hit. Uh, on counter hit, it's plus four forces crouch on counter hit. Sorry, plus two. Plus two to plus four, active frame. Uh, but on block, it's negative 17, which is a problem. This one. And then she has a counter hit follow up, right? Down 3 4, which knocks back. That's only on counter hit. And then if you get it blocked, it's negative 13. I don't know if I can do this. No, no unique counter hit properties. Just a lot of damage on that second hit. Uh, I don't know what the purpose of that is. She recovers too slow for juggles, right? Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of the... What's up, Spangler? Back turn, down 3-4. It's always used as a follow-up after a back turn, down 4. What? Oh, back turn, down 4, turns her around. It's just a generic love. <laughs> it's hard to make it a second hit, negative 14, so it's a loss, you shit it <laughs> it's, negative, it's negative 13, so... Hey, get, look at it this way. If you were playing the Brian, you'd be able to launch that with Jet Upper. Because that shit was 13 frames. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're playing whack, uh, whack ass Tekken 7, Brian. Doesn't even have a 13 frame Jet Upper. Who is this scrub? Huh? Oh, you mean that? Oh, yeah, there you go. I figured it was a follow up on some stuff. Yeah, you're right. That's not guaranteed. Yeah, I guess that's the only real use for it. I mean, other than the first kick by itself, if you want to use it as like a low profile, because like I said, right, just an alpha that. See? Oh, that works. Oh, not that doesn't. See? That's crazy. So Lily's hop kick actually has a really good hitbox. Reset. Good to know, you guys. That means Lily's Hawk Kick probably hits AOP. Not AOP Duck, but AOP. It works off of that. I'm assuming it's only if she's up close, though. 
You know what? I should check that, right? Because you Lily players, you gotta know. Every everybody's gotta know what their AOP move is, right? Their AOP mid of choice. <clears throat> 10 frame jet up for the fuck are you talking about? Second seven Brian needs to double taunt for his taunt to be useful. What a trash character. With his 87 damage unblockable. Man, 87 damage in this game ain't shit. 87 damage in DR was over half life. DR hub bars were like 120 something. <laughs> And then Brian's jet upper, forward one plus two, jab, three. I think after I finish this, I'm going to play some DR. <laughs> it's always fun to revisit DR. All right, anyway. So, we wanted to test. Uh, how do I do this shit? Okay. So, we got to, like, press down to make her lick her own cooch, which makes her duck everything, right? Get out of that, please. Oh, looks good, even from back here. Not right there. Now, nah, I forgot to do the duck. Dude, she hits AOP duck with that? Does she hit grounded or something? That's crazy. Oh, man. Lucky you. Bad matchup. <laughs> if you ever run into P Princess Ling, because Lord knows he doesn't block. There it goes. There it goes. The window certainly feels smaller than usual. Man. I can't. I'm trying to find that window again. Like only when she's far, and that's just it missing. That's like, that's not like you know really anything more than ah. There it goes. That looked good. That's still pretty good. Yoshimitsu has an eight frame launcher. Op six frames sometimes, depending on what stance he's in. So one plus two hits her if she does do the duck. Of course, if she does the duck, it whiffs. Down four two, it just misses no matter what, it looks like. Uh, I can't think of any other mids. Down four three. I like how Lily is just sticking her cooch in her face and she's like leaning into it. <laughs> well, you Lily players now know that hop kick is pretty dang good against AOP. I think I vaguely remember that hot kick hitting me, not grounded, but when I tried to move around on the ground, and I, it would always catch me off guard how good of a hitbox that hot kick had. And now I'm realizing. Oh, uh, down forward four, I already. Oh, what the hell's down forward four? I don't remember what that is. That KOF plus two ultimate match, whatever it's called. Oh, that. Yeah, that's probably good. How fast is this? 15 frames? That's probably good, yeah. Maybe not to get to AOP Duck, but if you, if you want a safe option, sure. So it's negative 2 on hit, though. Which is like, doo doo. Fuck that, hot kick that bitch. What's she, what's she gonna do to you? What's her 13 frame punish that's gonna fuck you up? Shoulder? <laughs> yeah, that hurts. Will she be ready for it every time? When you mix up with lows, especially? What's up, Subzero? <clears throat> so yeah, next we got uh, back turn down four. 
which is just generic down four. Negative uh, 12 frame startup, as always. Crush is on frame one. Crush is on frame one, numero uno. Uh, by the way, back turn down three. Crush is on frame four. High crush. Frame four. In case you were wondering. According to RB Norway. Uh, but back turn down four. Crush is on frame one. Negative 11. Ooh, I didn't know. Is that universal? Negative 11 on block, huh? That's negative 11. That's what you're trying to tell me. That's negative 11. It be. Why am I just getting hit? Lock it at it. Negative 11. Very interesting. And on a hit, it's uh, how much? Plus three? Wait, what? This is plus on hit? I never knew this. It pushes back a lot, though. Man, no wonder why Lily players love this shit. If this this is this good, I would just go into back turn neutrally and do that shit while I'm poking. It's like, oh, you're gonna stay still? Boop. All right, <laughs> back dash. The moment they whiff something, just get you know, get your fucking three one locked and loaded for whiff punishment. Boop. Plus three. Bye bye. <laughs> That's good. Plus three won't get you. Like, Lily has a lot of plus on block and uh, plus on hit, of course. But plus on block also, I'm noticing. The downside to this for Lily, like, the reason I could tell, the reason they gave her so much plus on block is because she doesn't have any counter hit tools. Right? Like, what counter hit tools does she have? Like, like strings, right? It's, they're attached to strings. But she doesn't have an upfront counter hit tool to really, like, you know, do anything with that. So it's just, all it does is it makes her, like, some of her stuff will track better, but she still has to make the same kind of reads with the same kind of buttons for the most part, right? It says, oh, now this is going to interrupt a lot of moves, you know? <laughs> or now this is going to interrupt everything, right? You know, this is you're, you're doing the same shit. You're not setting up like plus three. I was like, all right, magic four, you know? You're not doing that kind of stuff with Lily. So that's why it's not a big deal, like, for Lily to have so much plus on block. It really isn't. Or plus on hit. Uh, back turn down four is 10 frames. 10 frames? With who? You sure about that? I don't know about that. Oh, oh shit, 10 frames. RB no way is wrong. Tekken boss says 10 frames. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's cheap. That's cheap. The full crotch one is typically 12 frames, just like that. I like this song. Oh no, RB no way is right. It's that it's 12 damage. Okay, it's 12. I read the 12 damage is 12 frames. I assume oh 12 frames because these are usually 12 frames. So that's that's my fault. RB no way has the right frame data. Crush is on frame one. 10 frame startup, right? So what this means is if you end up in back turn with plus two, they cannot hop kick this. They cannot. Hot kicks need uh, nine frames. So, like, what uh, leaves her back to? What leaves her back to in plus? I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, this, right? Plus seven. That's like overkill. I can't find like a plus one situation, really. <sighs> All right, it's good shit though. I mean, it would just be like this blocked at the tip. So like, uh, negative two. not blocking when she gets up. Negative one.
Is that a trap? Well, first of all, you can suck. Take us on and get up. Stupid bot. I could have sworn I had a way to make this plus. Whatever. I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. Negative one is not bad, though. Um... Alright, so that's back turn down four. Next, we got back turn down three plus four. Now, if you don't hold forward, you recover back turn off of this after connecting it, which allows you to do that follow up, which is down three four, right? Boom, it's a down 3-4. Whoops, that's not down 3-4. This is homing now also. Alright, so. If you hold forward, she might get something different. Oh, that doesn't pick up though. I don't know if she gets any sort of pickup off of this. Doesn't look like it, right? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Same knockdown on counter here. Yes, uh, if she recovers forward, she's not really getting anything special, it seems like. Uh... Be guaranteed. They try to get up. Up 22 damage. It's a lot of damage. God, turn around, you dumb motherfucker. I, I had to hold forward so early to make her turn around after it. Yeah, this is like it's guaranteed. The way the bot is getting up there, blocking it. So yeah, I don't know why she would you would recover uh, facing forward, huh? It's really weird. I suspect that you might get some free shit if their back is to the wall with that knockdown. Some better free shit. I'll test that. But anyway, two more moves to go here. Back turn, back three. Oh yeah, then she can do this on a back turn. Same as the regular back three and back four. Same thing. You got a dumb mix-up. Dumb, really stupid, gimmicky mix-up. Not really worth doing. So, all right, that's how the back turn moves, except for the generic hop kicks. So that's the up forward three, which is a knockback. Only negative 12. Old school hop kick block punish before tech and tag 2. Hop kicks used to be negative 12 before tech and tag 2, if you could believe it. And 
the up forward four is the actual launcher. And that's the 12 also. Uh, nine frames? Nine frames? Is that really right? Ducks. Saw that? <laughs> That's fucked up. Look at that. Found a nice bootleg little uh, crush for you. If you have any sort of spacing involved with that, she's gonna duck your jab. Yeah, so nine frames ain't right. That's not right, second bot. Why you gotta lie? is way slower. But it does track. The up forward four, it does track that side. Which is the weak side of all the uh, back turn options. So Lily's uh, basically the opposite direction of her back turn too. So Lily's uh, I'm saying Lily's right because she's back turn. What I should say is left. One player side left is the weak side. Like, if you're going against Lily back turn, you want to sidestep to your right. Even though it's his Lily's back turn, it's her right. It's weird. I know. I mean, that maybe now I should be using, like, clockwise, like other people could <laughs> be All right, so we're going to go to a wall stage now. By the way, you guys, as always, uh, you could ask shit. It doesn't have to be Lily related. You could ask shit about other characters, too. Okay, let's take this to the wall. I was hoping she'd be close enough to get something off of that. No. Anybody got any ideas for here at the wall? I really need a solid breakdown on Josie. I already did that. It's on the YouTube. Uh, here's one anti-Josie tip. You know how jo Josie does the crouch dash, right? And then you typically, the big mix-up is Crouch Dash 3 and Crouch Dash 2. But they both come out equally slow. But it's still, despite them being slow, it's a mix-up because they hit on the same frame, essentially. So you have to guess. Here's a tip. If you guess low, don't low block. Don't low parry. Crush. If she hits you with Crouch Dash 2, if she's able to convert that, it's going to be way less damage than if you were just to duck and eat a raw crouch dash two and she hits you because what's going to happen is she'll hit you out of the air for crushing it's going to take 70 percent scaling and then she'll pick if she if she's able to pick you up my assumption is it would be with down three four and that's going to fuck up the damage scaling so for guessing wrong for guessing uh, uh low and guessing wrong for guessing low you're going to only eat like a 40 damage juggle instead of the crouch dash two into like 75 damage so that, that that's uh and that's actually a thing that people used to do against Bruce. That's not like new. That's why I had just randomly remembered that. And um it's actually watching Aris when he fought against a random Josie online forever ago. That I re that it triggered my memory of that. I was like, "Oh shit, that's like an old Bruce tact, anti Bruce tactic." And uh, yeah. So basically, my suggestion is if you guess low, if your character is able to do a delayed hop kick launch, fucking do it. 
Why block and get 13 frame punish? Why low parry and get a lesser damage juggle? You know? Train yourself to do that. Seems like my playlist ended. Let me throw up another playlist here real quick. I play Eddie. Oh, yeah. So you... <laughs> well, it's a little weird for you then. Yeah, I don't know what Eddie could do in that. He might have to just hold that and guess. But then again, Eddie... Oh, no. And... No way, Eddie could launch the uh, the low. She recovers standing, and the low is negative 13, so Eddie could just get a raw launch on that, but you should probably just duck with Eddie because he doesn't have uh, your standard... Uh, he does have a hot kick, but it's like you got to input core circle forward three, I think, right? So it's a little weird. You can't just hit input up forward plus a kick button like you could with other characters. Let's play the uh, old playlist here. Whoops. I accidentally dragged this. Oh, one of the videos in my playlist got deleted? That sucks. Whatever. <sighs> so yeah, depending on your character. Um, I was hoping basically here that uh, if you hold forward, that uh, she would get something special at the wall. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Wow, what the fuck? Wow, that's not even like a setup. Damn. That would be some goofy ass shit if she were able to like cross up with that or something. I'm pretty sure I've seen this before, right? I'm not crazy. I'm pretty sure I've seen some sort of knockdown, and then she'll jump over to switch sides, and then she'll do a back turn mix-up. I'm pretty sure I've seen that. That that seems like really gimmicky and stupid to me, though. Right? Cause you're just throwing yourself like switching sides, pushing yourself up against the wall. Oh yeah, Eddie has a delayed hop kick. I wasn't sure. If Eddie has a delayed hop kick, then just do delayed hop kick. If Eddie has a standard delayed hop kick like that, then just do that. That's fine. Um, all right. So I'm gonna go through throws now. So we're gonna go to the middle of the stage. That's all the back turn stuff. So the back turn, like, you know, your your basic mix up a back turn is your middle choice. For higher reward, you do one plus two, which is actually like pretty much safe on block, negative 10 force crouch, or back turn two for like a 100% safe on block mid option that knocks back. And on counter hit gives her a juggle. And then you mix that with whichever low, like that, even though that's like, no, that isn't 22 frame starter, so that's not a seeable low. That's your higher risk knockdown low with good reward basically and that's the mix-up really it's really just back turn down three plus four and if you just want to go with a poke then it's just down four that's it that's her basic back turn mix-up right if for some reason you'll do a low profile consider doing that by itself down three back turn down three uh back turn four i would not recommend using unless it's the floor break jungle or like you wall spat with something like this See how it resets the scaling? I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed. Let's see. It might, it might not be actually. Oh, that's guaranteed. Yep. It resets the scaling at the end of the juggle, so that 22 damage in the end, no matter how many hits you did before then, if you end it with the wall juggle doing that, it's always gonna be 22 damage for those last two kicks, always. And that's why it does such a shitload of damage. And that's why you typically do that at the wall. But if you can like, uh, um... Oops, I tried to down for it too.
Let's try this again. Woo. See, 72 plus 22, 82, 84 damage. Or sorry, 94 damage. That right there, 94 damage. That, just like that. That wasn't even a hard juggle. I was trying to do the harder juggle first, but the spacing did not look good for it. Let's try to do the harder juggle. Nah, it's not gonna work. We need more space. Nope, more space. Seventy-eight plus twenty-two. That's a hundred. One hundred damage. <laughs> One hundred. No floor break required. Nothing. So anyway, now I'm gonna go through. Uh, now that you get the idea, I'm gonna go through grabs now. Oh, uh, 10 hits. We got 10 hits. Split the demo. High, high, mid, mid. Of course, so you know when the low is coming. It's coming after the same down forward, four, four bullshit. Next. And then if she doesn't do that one, the low comes after the fucking forward cartwheel. So low parry, low parry. Does that have any use? Is that like a floor break combo that's used sometimes? Like if I were to wall splat, right? Oh, what's the input? 4, 1, 3, 3, plus 4. Is that guaranteed? So that could floor break? <laughs> I had tech on. Two floor break. Let's see what else. Oh, one more damage, huh? All right. Fourteen there instead of twenty-two. Odd. Maybe it's the floor break does something to the scaling. Lily represented. Well, that's because she's not as, uh... Well, I don't really know. I don't know her well enough in the older games to tell you guys what makes her better or worse in this game. They buffed this, right? And then movement is worse overall in this game than it was in Tag 2. So that's an indirect buff to that move also. Because in Tag 2, sidestep right, she ate shit after blocking this. Now, granted, you can still kind of do, like, some sort of janky-ass OS's where you sidewalk right, sidestep right to beat out, like, just about everything she does. But that's not something that everybody's going to be doing every time. That's why you, this is still a very effective move, right? I can tell you that the standout thing for her is her Oki. Any sort of knockback, that, that, oh, uh, not that. Well, that, no, no, not that. That, <laughs> that, those three knockbacks, right, which are all just, like, whiff punish knockbacks, you have amazing Oki every time mainly because she has this but the other reason because she has a lot of uh, forward movement off of, like that slide for example 
If I could get her to the last active frame that slide, I have her such a tech. It's a little hard to do, it takes tech. Ah. Well, if they get up and crouch block, even if they tech, fuck it. You could do this. Ah, I had it last time. There it is. Deep dash. Now she's blocking it, but the point being is the timing of that attack makes it so the only thing she could do to stop that from hitting her is crotch block. No low parry, no movement, nothing. Right? And the moment you establish like this, that she has to stand block that, you get legitimate 50-50s. Now the slide is cheap because if they don't tech, because uh, off of knockdowns like this, right? They hold back to wake up. No, I'm gonna get it. I got it early. I got it earlier. Negative 10. Negative 12. Negative nine. Safe on a block plus seven on hit. Safe on block plus seven on hit. Juggle on counter hit. Sorry for auto mod. You already know I can't turn that shit off. <sighs> so that's like the big standout thing for Lily. All sorts of like forward propelling moves. That uh, give her dangerous Loki. So anyway, while we're here, we're gonna look at throws. Kiss with the book. That looks like it should give her good Oki. That looks like it should give her good Oki. I don't. I tend not to look at side throw Oki and back throw Oki. She looks like she probably will have good Oki all around on all her grabs and her attack reversal. Alright, so like usual, I'm gonna explain this. You see how here these are both the same grab basically, but it shows you could press forward. If you hold forward, alright, without holding forward, regular grabs, which is to say 1 plus 3 and 2 plus 4, no matter which character, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's any character where this is, this is uh, different. It is 12 frame grab. 12 frames to grab, right? If uh, grabs collide on the same frame as an attack, the attack will one out virtual fire style, and the attack will hit you on counter hit. But basically, 12 frames to grab, right? If you hold forward, your, your throw comes out 15 frames to grab and gains tracking. Cannot be sidestepped if you hold forward. So it's slower, but cannot be sidestepped. It also adds range to the throw. That's why it, lay, it lists them as uh, two separate things. It didn't do this back during DR. It, it, I think they started doing this with second seven. Uh, sorry, six. So kiss of devotion. <clears throat> first thing first, we check wake up kicks. All right, so you have a good frame advantage on this. Let's, let's see. Sasha 3 is too slow to use for Oki like that. Even though it hits grounded, right? But it seems like any mid. This is where I start to remember that Hawk Kick has really good uh, a really good hitbox for her, because they definitely use it as Oki. I think it's been used as Oki for like every fucking game that she's been in. But if you want a safe option to blow up wake up kicks, and if they get up they'd have to block it. Down forward three is your best bet. How about low? Alright. No, um, no fucking, um, Root of Evil? Root of Evil. If you can't, you might be able to, but it's like too slow. You have to input it perfectly, it seems, it seems like. Ah, oh, down back three plus four. 
Check it out. And the wake up low kick is slower. Oh, wait. Why did I beat it the first time? We exchange. Okay, so you gotta mash it out, I think. Yeah. Thumbs up for Root of Evil. Sorry. Back to. Sorry. Down back 3 plus 4, not Root of Evil. Down back 3 plus 4. Whatever the fuck that shit's called. Kick her leg out of her leg, Owen Hart style. Or you could just do the down three to keep it safe, right? So the next thing we're going to test against is side rolls. Oh! She gets generic down three if they stay down. No, okay, no, no, you can match it out. And if she gets her standing down three, you're good. Okay, good. Okay, that loses the side roll. Well, uh, down three, solid. Now, we don't need to test down four or three because it's going to whiff, right? It's going to whiff if she, if she stays down. Point being, you have a low that's going to cover you completely for everything other than her stand, uh, standing into cross block. So, down three will keep you covered. <laughs> Look at that. I had a feeling. That hot kick has... A, oops. Oops. That hot kick has a really good hitbox. Wow, not in that direction, though. So that's a nice little bonus for you there. But if you want to go right away for something, down three is probably one of the easier. Safest bet, and then you can mix in a down forward three. It's like, get up, bitch. Um, And would you look at this? It hits on active frame number two, so she's plus four instead of plus uh, three. Well, if you mash it out at least. Wow. I mean, that's just like one of those unusual things with the spacing. Damn, I don't know how I got it. I got a plus four one time, so maybe uh, you can't rely on that being plus four, I guess. Well, that's fine. What is not four people four in the face? Negative three. Frame two. All right, so that's that for her one throw. The wake up mid kick is slower. I'm sorry, the wake up low kick is slower than the mid. That's why once we beat out the mid kick, I don't need to test the low. <sighs> Lily has the worst snake edge. Uh, Eliza's snake edge isn't bad. She jumps. That makes it unusual. That's a tough for some people, but people that are used to snake edges, they're not ready for that jump. <sighs> Alright, now this is where you want to be careful, because if you do some really dumb oki that opens you up to eating the low, you could get uh, juggled. Alright, frames look good. Not as good recovery as one plus three. I'll kick his head though. Be slow. Don't be slow. Damn. I gotta be real with you guys. In this instance, I would want a mid that would hit grounded. Because the moment you whiff a mid over her in that position, you're gonna eat a juggle. So this, this Oki, 
just because of the positioning automatically worse of course you could sidestep right and make it whip that's good that's a good sign okay all reaction basically nice sidestep right beats out both wake up kicks so you can just input a sidestep right three right away right and then she'll have to like get up to block it, right? But will it whip? It's the big question. Yeah, damn, that sucks. All right. Big whiff. So I have the Oki on two plus four. Too risky. Uh, my recommendation would be sidestep right and then react to a wake up kick. And then if they stay down, down four with three plus four. That's my that's my uh, suggestion. So if you have a sharp reaction to what they do and they get up, do that. Because then what ends up happening is if they stay down and do a delayed wake up kick, at least this will go over the, the low. And then it'll, the mid will only just knock you out of the air and you won't get juggled. I miss anything in the chat? See people confirm things down back four to four plus screw, but I always whiff to confirm. Uh -huh. You got a crotch cancel. Yeah. They used to be easier pickup when it was bound for things down back four. Alright, so next, command grab. So this is a good positioning. Head towards face up. She recovers slower. Hot kick is still good. Ah, all right. So you you don't have a low option other than down four, which does not hit grounded. It's a beat out Waco kick. He low profile it. Nope. Down four, three plus four is gonna lose because it's too slow. So you can still sidestep right to beat out. But then that one will track. So what you can do, what you can do with this is sidestep right, right into a down forward three plus four. You see that? I crushed it still. So if she doesn't wake up low, you'll crush it. If she does the mid, you'll whip punch, right? I got sidestep deeper than that. Uh, you got sidestep too deep to get around the four mid. Or you could uh, sidestep. Uh, that's a punish. So I inputted a low parry OS there. And I did a while standing two off of the confirmed whiff. And I was still able to punish. And while standing two is uh, 16 frames. So you can totally do a hop kick out of that too for one frame faster. You can do that kind of junk. Otherwise, the Oki off of uh, this grab, not great. Backdash opens up with punish. Something simpler, right? Backdash damage. Ha. Ha, ha. 
So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much a throw Oki uh, for basic throws. Like I said, I don't, I tend not to really look at the side throws and back throws. Because they're like rarely a thing to consider. She recovered so slow, damn. Oh my god, cameraman. All right. Yeah, all right, so it's another one where you gotta set up a whiff. You can't outright beat out wake up kicks. That one you can. Yeah, that one you can. So she basically does Tetsuya Naito's finisher, right? Oh, not that one. <laughs> Except she like the, turns it into a throw instead of a reverse DDT. Destinio. Well, that's it for her throws. Let's visit the wall stage again. I think we all have a pretty good idea of what her wall twos are. But let's go over some of them again. This song, this is the current song is uh, Lady Tears 2 from Shadow Hearts 3. The one before this is the um, regular battle theme for Shadow Hearts 3 called um, Dead Fingers Talk or some shit like that. So, wall splat tools. Of course, she has core circle forward one, two. And then she can cancel that into back turn when it's to the wall. And of course, when she's back turn, if you want to fuck with them, you have all sorts of wall splat options. Back turn two. Back turn three. Oh, she probably gets some sort of unique shit off of back turn one plus two, but I don't see any reason to that we have back turn two for a full wall splat. Especially since back turn two, right? Uh, oh, you can't hold back. Right. But yeah, back turn, two. back turn two and back turn three, or back turn down people's four. Pick your poison. Um, and of course, if you do back turn down people's four, you can still do down three, four, and then no combo for quite a bit of damage. Forty-five. Uh, one plus two wall splats. Two four wall splats. That's a big one. Forward to three wall splats. From back here. Back to four wall splats. Uh, forward two has a shitload of range. You can basically basically consider this just like Bob's forward two three. Really, really good range on that. It's unsafe on block though, just like Bob's forward two three. So you know, with punishment this shit. Two four is not unsafe on block, but can be done. They get a two on block, actually. So you can tell you this. If they don't know that they can duck this, you can totally just sidestep and try it again. Um, of course, they're homing kick. But I don't think it's a particularly amazing wall splatting, too, because it's slow and it has shit range. Um... I do know her general wall combo when she's facing you is like one two one plus two or you had to lay the one plus two though. There it is for 15 damage low wall hit right or like four one one plus two shit like that if you want like easy and the cool thing about those is you could buffer the one plus two in the end out of the one two or the four one just hold the one press two or one two hold the two press one. easy and off of the 4-1 the timing is there so you can mash and get the low wall hit on the one plus two really easy and then if you want a floor break 
Down forward, three plus four, three plus four. You'll recover back turn, you floor break, and then you press four, three plus four. Easiest shit ever, right? Um, the other wall splash I'm forgetting. Look at the range on this. Three, one, wall splash. Right? That's unsafe though, right? But forward four is safe, and that wall splash. A lot of range here. Not only that, look at this. Look at this. What is this shit? Backdash. Backdash. <laughs> look at this shit. You're just sticking this fucking long ass leg out there, and the moment they fuck up once, they eat shit, and then they eat a wall combo, right? Negative nine. Negative nine. Push back. It pushes her back. She's crazy. Uh, I recommend Shadow Hearts music in general. The last few songs have been Shadow Hearts 1, 2, and 3 music. That's actually uh, in my wall of shame of games that I like. I, I wanted to play back when they came out, but I never did. JRPGs. Oh, shit. Did I just unplug my headset? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, and here's Etrian Odyssey 3. So, yeah, Lily's wall game, pretty good. The only problem is it's either a lot of unsafe shit, shit that could be duck. Like this is really the super safe shit. This is the cheap shit. This forward four is, is a big one. That's a big one. Linear, sure, but like, you know. You move with them and stick that shit out there, it's fucked up. Yeah, back four, I know video games. I mentioned that when I went to Miguel. They made it, they nerfed it because it's an armor move that's unsafe now. It basically was a lot like this. It, he would do it from like really far away, and then you would block it, and then he could sidestep and just do it again, basically. Do it again. Look at this fucking range. <laughs> fucking hell, man. Oh man. You could just use this and set it up as a whiff punish into itself, right? The standing three is how much? No, standing three. I would set up standing three as a whip punch because it's two frames faster. Now so back dash and look for a standing three one. Two frames faster. Just don't be slow and don't let it get blocked. It's only like a dirt team, but still, don't let it get blocked. Anything else I'm forgetting? Plus uh, nine. I just remember I thought it was plus ten. If it was plus ten, she'd be able to do so that. That doesn't work. Rudo Evil is still good though here. Rudo, yeah, if you land a Rudo Evil and you go into back turn, that's a very scary situation when their back is to the wall. They fuck up at all. You basically, uh, Jazz will exchange for her back turn too. And that's an exchange in her favor. Cause that's a what, 14 frame? It's a 14 frame mid. So when you're at plus four, you'll exchange her jabs and she's gonna wall splash you. So Rule of Evil at the wall is good too. Down three just to chip away at their health, and down three, of course, will frame trap into two four, right? Which is a wall splat. So you can pressure pretty damn good at the wall, really good. And down three hits from back here, so it's like just like with this, you know, down three will clip them. Puh. Puh. Oh, this dumbass move. I already checked if you can pick up off of that, right? Oh, well, you don't even need to. Yeah, that move at the wall. You do down one, two, four. The damage isn't great. Oh, uh, you can't do that, though. Is there back turn? No, it's not. 22 frames. 22. 22 frames. Only two could do. Don't 
The only thing that might make it edge case seeable in some instances is that um, when uh, ex very experienced players, when they see her back turn, they know that she can only do X amount of moves. Right? It's like a handful of moves you gotta think about. And it's like, oh, that is the low I gotta worry about. So, if, like, maybe if they hyper focus looking for that low, and they see her upper body go down, not even looking for the particular low, just they just see her upper body go low to the floor. Instantly, the low block, right? You might get that. Maybe. But really, 22 frames. Generally, no. Oh, that's zero? And it crushes? Oh, zero and hand it crushes, huh? So, yeah, I mean, you know, that's Lily, right? Alright, I guess I didn't go over her uh, rage drive. have a tendency to forget that. Ah, <sighs> so you just mash three after her fucking thing. It's a homing move? The three follow-up is a homing move, huh? Interesting. Oh, this is the Etrian Odyssey 4 version. Yeah, the second kick is homing, but it's a high. Oh, jails. Lucky you. It jails. Okay. Here's what I will say. Much like with Jack's rage drive, when the moment you block the first hit, you're stuck. You, you're gonna block the second. You can't mash nothing. So guarantee the block. But Lily's is plus nine. So you gotta guess afterwards. That's a pushback, so the guess isn't really anything special. A lot of pushback. That's not that great. Too much pushback. But at the wall, you're right in their face. So you definitely have to guess. <laughs> uh, holding back doesn't let her do whatever. It's a double corkscrew. There you go. Double corkscrew. Double rain. I don't know what crazy thing she could do to make use of that though. Right? Anybody know a crazy juggle you can do with that? Section heats. Ah, what's up, Led Double? Led Double J. <laughs> Is that a J? Or is that an I? A double I. Uh, I'm doing Feng next. Three, three, three. Thank you. 
It would have to be one hit. After that. And I don't know what that hit would be. It's a J. J E double F. J A double R E double T. I don't know if you get that reference. Because the moment I see double J, that's the, the instantly where my mind's gonna go. Oh, well, you're welcome. Glad I helped. Glad I got glad I help. Glad I help. Glad I can help. Um, yeah, I don't know how to make use of this second course here. It would really have that. That would be the jungle lender, maybe. But that doesn't work as a jungle lender. Maybe if I'm faster. To dash deeper and if I do if I dash deeper it whips so it just has like extra wall carry if you need it to go wall to wall I guess I was using this in a neutral I mean her down four people's force cheap enough as it is I mean, is it even need is it even necessary in a neutral I'm not I'm, I'm struggling to find out why you would use this rage drive maybe some specific wall combos but it pushes back too much for the plus nine to really mean anything. And then it's like, you hit it, it's like, well, guess what? You get a juggle, which you would have gotten either way. You know? You might as well hold it for the super, right? And you'll attach the super to this juggle. Yeah, I'm struggling to, you know, figure out why. The move is already good as it is. And it's not like you could delay it to like catch people with the second hit. You have to commit to it right away, which makes it jail. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't, I don't really know a, a great way to use that. You know? Whatever. Well, it's there. It gives you a second course screw. I'm sure there's some nasty wall reese black combos you can do with it. damage reset burn all your resources for it yeah I'm not feeling ah, that rage drive is there I mean that's pretty much it for Lily I guess right yeah that's it I, I'm done Lily's done so yeah she's cool I guess if you're into that sort of thing like I said the thing that sticks out immediately to me is the Oki really good Oki like far above average on her Oki but, and a lot of knockdowns uh, but very linear very risky because of how linear she is not because she's awful on block but she could put out some good damage so you could totally win with this character I mean you know yeah you could definitely win with this character <laughs> if you're <laughs> into that sort of thing alright so um, I kind of turned myself up talking about 50-50 uh, <laughs> 50-50! <laughs> they also combo. So good together. So I kind of turned myself up talking about DR. So I'm going to play some fucking DR right now, man. You guys hyped for this DR? I am. I'll pull this out later and upload it to the tube of you. I got to move some cables around, though. So I'll be right back. Bear with me, amigos.